kind of a dual sport tonight, huh? Yeah, boxing and basketball. When they mix every once in a while, you get to see two sports for the price of one, and that's what they have <laughs> in the garden bargain. tonight. Well, playing at Georgetown, Patrick Ewing developed the reputation as a fighter. Sometimes a guy, yeah, he, believe it or not, he would even let go with a cheap shot here or there. Yeah, Patrick Ewing. Tonight's yeah, Ewing's reputation returned against the Boston Celtics as he starts throwing the punches against Greg Kite in the key there. Apparently, uh, Patrick didn't like Greg Kite being in the key with him or something. I don't know. I guess when you're playing as badly as the Knicks are lately, uh, you get frustrated. But uh, this is incredible what he does here. Look, one elbow, another elbow, and then the punch, the right hand there. Surprisingly, Ewing was allowed to stay in the game in spite of uh, trying to turn the garden into a boxing arena. Celtics had no problem with the Knicks winning by 11 points. Utah on the road at Washington, a three-point win there. Daryl Griffith hit a shot at the buzzer to win that one. Golden State over the L.A. Clippers, that's no surprise. The Clippers have now lost 15 of their last 16. Lakers win at Cleveland, 121-116. to 116. A triple-double for Magic Johnson tonight as his biggest fan. Pat Riley looks on. Also, Lenny Wilkins of the Cavs right there. 25 points, 14 assists, 11 rebounds for the Magic one tonight. There's Michael Cooper from the outside for the Lakers. Leading scorer for Cleveland was rookie John Hot Rod Williams out of Tulane University. 22 points for the Hot Rod with a slam right there. Lakers by five over the Cavs. Portland wins the battle of the Northwest over Seattle tonight. And in the Arco Warehouse, you got Denver beating Sacramento. Alex English had 45 for the Nuggets. Uh, Detroit wins at Atlanta by 11. Chicago beats New Jersey 99 to 98. Another great night for Michael Jordan. How about 41 points? for Air Jordan this evening. Got some air in those sneakers with that shot right there. The Bulls win it by a point. Here's a normal shot. E even normal jump shots by Michael Jordan look better <laughs> than they do from anybody else. Phoenix beat Houston on the road. Milwaukee by 12 over Philadelphia. That game played in the Mecca. And Dallas wins by three points at home over San Antonio. More than 17,000 tickets have already been sold for tomorrow night's game of the Thomas and Mack. The running Rebels, number one once again in both wire service polls, take on Nevada Reno. The Rebels beat the Wolfpack, you recall, by 11 points Saturday up at the Lawler Event Center. A lot of fans and players are looking for a blowout tomorrow in the T&M. In high school ball tonight, Bishop Gorman ran their record to 4 and one against Basic. A close game throughout three quarters. Matt Othick scores on the break there, 47 to 42. Gales after three. Later, the low-level alley-oop. Paul Lerch to Kevin Soares. 68 to 50 Gorman over Basic this evening. Also Valley beats Rancho 52 to 44. Now onto the Western Chaparral game played at Valley High this afternoon. Cowboys Jerry Coleman led all scores with 31. They had uh, a little debate in this game over which ball to use. Western thought it was a little bit too slippery, so they switched, and uh, it didn't hurt Chaparral at all. Look at the great pass right there, Willie Smith to Myron Harris. Chaparral by two in overtime, six, uh, 96 to 94. Clark beats El Dorado 64 to 47. And Bonanza over Las Vegas 73 to 62. Highlights of this ballgame. Eric White formerly with Western. Now at Vegas, 23 points for White, who's known as the George Gervin of the Southern Zone. He can score but doesn't know how to play defense. Shot of the game right here, Doug Semester. Look at that one. Nice shot there. Bonanza by 11 as uh, they run their record to 4 and 1. And believe it or not, the Wildcats fall to 1 and 4. San Diego Padre pitcher Lamar Hoyt is on his way to federal prison. Hoyt was sentenced to 45 days in the pen today, plus fine $10,500 for attempting to smuggle narcotic pills across the uh, Mexican-American border. He'll begin serving January 5th. Hoyt is a former Cy Young Award winner with the Chicago White Sox. And free agent pitcher Jack Morris did not, I repeat, Matt, and I know you're not going to like this, he did not sign a deal with the Minnesota Twins today. They the need next, him. <laughs> I know they need him. The next stop, though, the Yankees need him, too, and that's where Jack Morris is headed next. And guess who was named the Sportsman of the Year today by Sports Illustrated Magazine? No, that is not Larry Bird or Roger Clemens, but you can read it there. Joe Paterno, the coach of the Penn State Nittany Lions. Only the second time that a coach has won this award, Paterno led his Nittany Lions to an undefeated season so far mm -hmm. because they still got one more bowl game to play. Uh, that will be, of course, against Miami mm -hmm. in the Fiesta Bowl coming up January 2nd. Okay. Thanks, Rob.